Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are designing this responsive homepage from scratch using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And in the previous video, I showed you how to design the mobile version of this web page. Now, in this video, we're going to add some hover effects for these elements. So, here we can see for the button, we have this hover effect. And even for these menu items, we have these hover effects. We can see that we have these underlines. And we'll also add animation to these elements when the page loads. So, if I refresh this page, we can see that we have this animation for all these elements. So these are the things that we're going to do in this video. Let's get started. Alright, this is our progress as of now and I have disabled the autoplay for now for this video. Alright, so let's start with the hover effect for this button. So let's go to the source code. And uh, here we can see for the button we have this uh, anchor tag with the class of btn so let's go to a style to css file and let's scroll up and uh, let's find the selector for the button so here we can see this is the selector of the button so here i'll just type main container hero section a dot btn colon hover and when we hover over the button we'll just change the background color so let's type background and i'll just change the color to a11 b1 b and we'll also add a smooth transition so here i'll just type transition and let's set it to all 400 milliseconds ease. All right, now let's go back. And now if you hover over this button, we can see that we have this uh, hover effect. All right, now let's add the hover effects to these menu items over here. So if you go back to our original design, we can see that we have these underlines over here for these menu items. So for that, we're gonna use the after selector in CSS. So let's go back to our CSS. Let's find the selector for the menu items. So I think, uh, it is right here so here we can see we have this anchor tag so what we're going to do is we're going to add an after selector for this anchor tag so here we can just type main container nav ula colon colon after and after selectors are basically used to add extra data to the elements so here if i just type content and if i just type one two three and now if you go back to our design we can see that we have one two three written after all these menu items so we don't want to have one two three written so Let's go back and let's remove this one, two, three. Now we need to have an underline. Now we need to position this underline relative to this anchor tags. So here for the anchor tag, let's type position relative. And uh, here in the after selector, I'll just type position absolute. And uh, let's set the left position to zero and the bottom position to negative four. And uh, let's set the width of the element to 100%. And let's set the height of the element to one pixel and let's set the background color to white Right now, let's go back to our design and here we can see we have underlines for all these menu items Now we don't want to have these underlines by default. We'll just have the underlines when we hover over these menu items So let's go back and uh, Here I just set the width to 0% by default and uh, Let's add a hover effect over here. So let's type main container nav ul a colon hover colon colon after and here we need to set the width to 100% and we'll also add a smooth transition so here I'll just type transition and uh, let's set it to all 400 milliseconds ease all right now let's go back to our design and uh, let's hover over these menu items and we can see we have the hover effect working all right so that's it with the hover effects for these uh, elements now the next thing we will do is we will add animation for all these elements when the page loads. So if you go back to the original design and if I refresh this page, we can see we have these animations for all these elements. So let's add them. First of all, let's add the animation to this heading. So let's go back to our CSS and let's find the selector for the heading. So I think it's right here. So this is the heading. So let's go ahead and type animation. And we're gonna create an animation called fade in and let's set the duration of the animation to 1000 milliseconds and uh, we will set the transition curve to ease in out by default we will set the position of this element to 15 pixels below the default position so let's type transform translate Y and uh, let's set it to 15 pixels and by default, we'll also set the opacity to zero. All right, now let's create this fade in animation. So for that, we have to type at keyframes 
and uh, for the identifier I'll just type fade in in the first frame we have the opacity set to 0 and the transform translate set to 15 pixels now here we need to add the last frame so we can just type 100% over here or we can just type 2 for the last frame and here we'll just set the opacity back to 1 and we'll also set the transform translate so let's type transform translate y and set it back to 0 all right now let's go back to our design and let's refresh this page and we can see that we have the animation for the heading but after the animation it just vanishes and it goes back to the first frame so for that we have to go back to our CSS and here we need to add a property called forwards all right now let's go back to our design and let's refresh this page and here we can see we have the animation for the heading all right now let's add the animation to this paragraph and also this button so let's go back to the CSS and uh, I'll just copy this line of code of the animation and let's scroll down and uh, let's paste it over here for the paragraph and here also we need to set the opacity and the transition so let's go back over here and uh, let's copy these two lines of code and uh, let's paste them over here and the next thing we need to do is we need to add a delay for the animation of the paragraph so here we need to type animation delay and let's set the delay to 400 milliseconds All right now let's go back to our design and let's refresh this page and here we can see we have the correct animation for both these elements let's also add the animation for the button so let's go back to our CSS now for the animation of the button we'll just keep the button at the same position so I'll just copy these three lines of code and uh, let's paste it over here in the button and for the button I'll just set the animation delay to 1000 milliseconds which is one second so let's go back to our design and uh, let's refresh this page and we can see we have the correct animation for all the three elements all right now let's add the animation to this uh, nav bar so let's go back to our CSS and uh, I'll just copy these three lines of code from here and let's go to the selector of the nav bar so this is the selector for the nav bar so I'll just paste the three lines of code over here now while we are still here let's also add the animation to the social division so let's scroll down and uh, here's the social division so I'll just paste the three lines of code over here and for the social division I'll just set the duration of the animation to 500 milliseconds and the animation delayed to 2000 milliseconds All right now let's go back to our design and uh, let's refresh this page And we can see we have the animation for all the elements in our web page right now let's go back to our html and uh, let me just add the autoplay for the video so here i'll just type autoplay right now let's go back to our design and we can see everything is working all right let's hover over these elements and we have the horror effects working all right let's refresh this page and we have all the animations working all right so that's basically how you add animation and horror effects to the elements in your web page and that's it for this video. I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.